And because I have a family with a lot of special needs kids. I have a brother who's 57 and has the mental and motor skills of a one-year-old. And I know what that means financially, emotionally, physically for a family. And I know not all families can do it. And I have a step-granddaughter who was born with Down syndrome. And you know what? It is very difficult in Florida to get services. It is not as easy as it sounds on paper. And I've got another, another step-grandson who is uh, very autistic, who has autism, and it is incredible. And I've, and now you're talking about aborting autistic kids? Now we got to get rid of people who Wait, are too obsessed with baseball stats. That's They're dead too. Crazy. And I have another. I have an uncle with a huge birthmark on his neck. He looks like Australia. <laughs> people think that he loves Australia, and they talk to him with Australian accent. It's very, very hard. And sometimes he squeezes it, and a little bit of juice comes out where Perth is. And I have a friend who is left-handed. He's, it's very hard for him. When he draws with a charcoal pen doing life drawing, everything gets smudged. <laughs> he can only use pens. When he writes with pencil, it's all smudging. He used crayon on a Christmas card for us. I couldn't read shit. No, he tried to eat with her as a barbecue, and he picked up the chicken. <laughs> it's so messy. I have a cousin. He has very long hair. <laughs> it's very hard for him. When he shit, he have to sort of bottle it up in a man bun, or it gets in the toilet water. See, and when he starts wetting, all the water, the sweat go everywhere. Do you like you? you know. I know. I have a neighbor who is not a supermodel or a rocket scientist. I tried to kill her. They say no. It's very hard. No one should be born, basically. And then my other neighbor, they, I saw them going to get the mail once, and they were limping. So I think something <laughs> wrong with them too. Nothing wrong with that. I have a great grandfather. He's very old. <laughs> it's very hard to get services. He should have been aborted. <laughs> Some people are over 100 years old. They need to be aborted now. I have a, a niece, okay? She's seven months old. She stitched herself, okay? <laughs> I, I have a baby. He was born unable to walk. They said he wouldn't walk till he was at least one year old. He was in a stroller for one entire year. And he couldn't go to the bathroom. He had to wear what we call diapers. <laughs> and he diapers. would pee and poo into his diapers for almost three years. They call him Hoggies, but you don't want to Hoggy him when he shits himself. That's gross. I was pregnant. The baby was going to be born on Christmas. You know how fucked up that is for a child? Because you get half as many presents because they're already buying presents for Christmas. So you get kind of like shitty presents as opposed to those fuckers in July. So I aborted him and I got closer to July with the third, after the third abortion. Now my baby, she gets tons of presents Christmas, tons of presents July. But then... The birthday party aren't so good. No. And because no one's, everyone's away for the vacation. So then I aborted her. And then it's snowing on your birthday? Nobody has to live with that. Nobody should have to live with <laughs> snowy birthdays. Actually, I'm so annoying. I'm going to abort myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this just in. And by the way, <coughs> you know her brother watched the show because only retards watch CNN. 